vibrations. The speaker applies his mind as to the constitutionality or otherwise of such business as contemplated understanding order 47.3. Let me also hasten to uh, add Honorable that Wandai, just so that everyone can follow you, oh, you're rising on order, standing order 47.3. 47.3. Yes, yes, yes. If the speaker is of the opinion that any proposed yeah, yes. motion is one which infringes or the debate which is likely to infringe on any of the standing orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one of the, yeah. is contrary to the constitution. Okay, so which one are you referring to? 47.3. No, I'm, I'm asking what uh, particular part of the order paper are you referring to? I am referring to, Honorable Speaker, hmm. I'm referring... I just want to be able to follow you here. Yes, yes. Mm. And I, I wish the House would be, be attentive because I can't actually communicate. Honorable members, I think let's... Let us consult in low tones. Order, honorable members. Honorable Speaker, mm. I am referring to the Statute Law Miscellaneous Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 68, of 2023, which has since gone through the second reading and is destined for the Committee of the Whole. And that's why I am paraphrasing J.D. Muturi's ruling on this particular day, the 21st of December that year. I was just concluding it. Let me also hasten to add, that is J.D. Muturi speaking, let me also hasten to add that notwithstanding the approval of any business by the chair under the standing orders, it has now become an established parliamentary practice of this House that a question of the constitutionality or otherwise of any matter under consideration by the House may be raised at any stage of its consideration. Indeed, my predecessors and I have been invited on several occasions to guide the House on issues of constitutionality of various matters before the House. That's the point. Okay, you've made your point, you've explained the standing order correctly, but that particular statute amendment bill that you're referring to is not on the order paper today, is it? The Honourable the Speaker, the Honourable the Speaker, I wish you just need to move fast and you can guide me. I just yes. conclude, yes, what I'm saying here. Yes. The Honourable Speaker, I am well aware, yes, yes, that the particular business is not on today's order paper. But I have mentioned that that particular business has been duly approved by the Speaker and indeed it has gone through the second reading stage. That is therefore within the, within the limit of for development three and especially the ruling I have just referred to by Speaker J.D. Muturi. Honorable Speaker, I'll be very brief. Article 10, Article 3, of course, has been elaborated by J.D. Muturi in his ruling. Article 10, I'm on, I'm on a point of order, Honorable Speaker, and protect me, please, Honorable Speaker. I am on a point of order. You will just under the time the and respond. Just let him finish. Yes. He's about to finish. What is the, then you can do What is the detail about? I am on a point of order. Honorable Chepkong, you're out of order. Allow me to listen to him, then rule on it. You can't the Honorable, the Honorable, Honorable Speaker, thank you very much. Honorable Speaker, I'm particularly referring to the Value Added Tax Act of 2013 that this amendment bill is proposing to amend. Honorable Speaker, the first question is, is the VAT Act 2013 a money bill or not? The answer is, it is indeed a money bill. And the proposal of the bill is suggesting to delete section 468 to A. Honorable Speaker, money bills are provided for under Article 114 of the Constitution. Honorable Speaker. Article 114 of the Constitution. And I will take you 
to Article 114, Sabbatical 2 of the Constitution. 